Okay, so walk through for Garrett's retreat. Um, no, will be spoilers. Uh, this is where you're going to find the body. Uh, it's got the key and the will. Let's fast travel to Helgen. And if you're playing a new character, it's going to be outside the exit uh, when you exit the keep with whichever NPC you chose to exit with. I'm just going to run over here real quick. Show you where you'll exit. This is where you exit at the storyline. And just follow this path down. And right about here. Yep, there he is. In here, open up the will. Alright, so yeah, blah blah, read me. Hopefully, there's no typos. Okay, this gives you a general area of, you know, run this way, but here, I'm going to show you how to get here to the house. So, if you found this place, then you can just fast travel here. If you haven't, just this is where it is. So I'm going to mark where the house is. It's well, in the general area. We'll fast travel to Darkwater Pass. And yeah, this way. I guess I could have, if I had looked up just then, you would have been able to see it and think about it. Up and up and up and up and up. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so here's the uh, here's the location. Here is the exit for Dark Order Pass. Uh, yeah. So it's right there. Dark Order Pass. Right this way. And again, sorry for the load doors. I can actually get rid of that one. The rest are necessary. Okay. Here it is. Gears Retreat. Okay, I'm not gonna walk through everything. I'm just this is I'm just trying to uh, help out the people who've been having problems finding stuff. So this is basically a spoiler video. Gonna go in the cellar here. Go through the gate. Enter the room where everybody's been dying. <laughs> Okay, right up here. <clears throat> you see the hole in the wall, just take the moss. And you'll see a statue on the other side, just barely. And in her hand are two books. Or well, in both her hands is one book. Grab this one. And there's a riddle inside. Again, read me. And look in her other hand. Now it's really hard to get these books. I did make it kind of difficult because this was, like I said, the first step to getting access to spoilers. Okay. So it basically says look for the room stones. Uh, so if I look in here, right over there, there's a little raven. Okay, that's this room stone. 
Okay, there should be another one in here. Yeah, right there. There's a serpent. And that's this one. Okay, now in the book, it has a riddle. I'm not going to go through that, but here's the answer. This uh, would be the portal to the Thieves' Guild. And I uh, Garrett's armor. All enchanted. I think that's originally Leowin's armor. Okay, this journal. For those of you who uh, who got through this without any help, good, you know, kudos. <laughs> There's small hints if if you want to stop watching and you just needed to get to this part, you know, just read through this. There's very small hints to the rest of you know finding everything else. But uh, I'm gonna gonna finish it. I'm gonna walk you all the way through it. So behind the shield is uh, the switch room key, which you need to open the elsewhere gates, which are blocking access outside of the house to all the extra parts. Uh, this would be the portal to uh, outside of Nighting Nightingale Hall. Is, uh, Nightingale armor, enchanted. Uh, another shield. I think one's a sneaky shield and one's a uh, a thieving, like a pickpocket shield. Okay, let's go back out here and oh, right, right before I leave, right here, <laughs> firebrand uh, wine. It's for a quest if you haven't done it. Come back outside the house. <coughs> All right, so jump, jump. And this is the hard one. Actually, this one and the next one. Because the water kind of pushes you back. And there we go. Okay, switch room. Okay. There are going to be some guys up here. Is that you? You know, again, if any of this is extremely difficult for low levels, it was, it, you know, it may not be. It depends on the difficulty you have your game on. But uh, it wasn't meant to be uh, easy for low levels to get here. Four switches, one for each gate. There's the mine and the vault. And the, path to and the roof access, which is actually in the bedroom. Okay, let's go back out. Go make sure the gates are open. Let's check the mine. Oh, I've 
upstairs. Ah, oh, these mannequins. Okay, so sorry guys uh, about these mannequins if they're doing this for you. They don't seem to light up. They lose their spec map until you equip an item. Uh, I apologize. This is my first mod. I did make a few mistakes. I will own up to that. Or I should say I learned a few lessons. And you guys can explore. I'm not exploring everything again. This is kind of just a spoiler walkthrough. Oh, these stairs. Okay. And a roof access. Yeah. And it's open. So this will be the portal to uh, Winterhold. And yeah, you get too close to it, you just get sucked in, so let's go back. <coughs> All the portals are one way, by the way. is open now, so you can get to the door. But I need something out of the vault before we go in there. Well, I mean, you don't, but uh, the spoiler for that room, you have to get to the vault first. And the path to sit this is that way. And it's, it's open. Yeah. Okay, so they're all open. And I hope they are. Yeah, the vault, the vault's open. Vault's right here. Okay. Let's see if I can do this in one run. So shouts, whirlwind sprint. You might be able to do it with level one. I have level two, and this necklace comes in handy. No cooldown. Shouts. You don't have to have it. It just makes it quicker. Uh, now for these, wow, for these podiums, all these lightning things shooting at you. There, you know, there's certain places you can stand where you don't get shot. So for people who are down, oh. And the trick is, if you have a high-level whirlwind threat, to just barely tap it. Don't. Right, for the short ones. Oh, nice. Okay. See, it's that easy. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So yeah, drop down here. And swim, swim, swim. So you don't get crushed. This part was a lot harder right here. I made it. Took a lot out. Okay, for this part the best thing, just sprint to the end. As soon as you get up here. Whole floor is on fire. Yeah. Keep in mind, this was a training room for for Garrett, so I wanted it to be kind of hard. It, it was converted to a vault. If you read the journal, okay, let's kill all these guys. There they go. Ah, there they are. Come on. weapon. A lot of damage. Well, somewhat a lot of damage. Just run up and smack him. Again, not for a level one. Ah. Guys everywhere. Oh, my armor's pretty good. I forgot. 
I don't play this guy anymore. Got so many tunes going. Okay, so this is uh, this is the tomb. Um, the vault was actually the trap room that we just passed through. I didn't stop for any of the the treasure because I'm not doing that right now. Um, this bust is where I'm going to be put or maybe putting the the mask for the gray fox when I make it. Okay. So this next part is the hidden vault spoiler room. And if you look, it's right up there. Way up there. This is uh, the hardest to find if you're following the clues and the hardest to get to. Uh, mainly because it's got every spell and skill book and all the thieves guild stuff. So it's right over here. And we're basically going to jump back and forth. Let's see if I can do this in one. If you look up there, yeah, a little pedestal. Okay, so we're going to want to sprint across here. Watch out for this little trap. Trap! I uh, jump over this actually to the next one. Grab this key. Oh. It's gonna draw. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Okay, see, I fell too. Everybody falls. Okay, so. I forgot about the fire. <laughs> when you pick up the key, it drops the drawbridge. Uh, which you saw from the bottom. I'll see it again in a second. Really helps if you have that necklace. I guess I could have put it in here, but it's someone else's. Uh, there we go. Okay, now <laughs> you can jump up here, but try not to jump on the plate. Because <laughs> that thing's just going to push you off, unless you have quick reflexes. And a quick computer. Okay. Or Lightfoot. Ah, there we go. So let's jump up here. Another whirlwind. And you're over here. Okay. Oh, goodies. Okay, if you turn around. Look right here. This was the hint in the journal to look for the, the gray wolf marker. Okay. So it's kind of hidden. I know where it's at. You can see it from over there. I guess I could have showed you. But you'll see it in a second. There's a ledge. I'm gonna line up just right. Oh. And jump down a little. There we go. Okay. So you can kind of see it. Oh! Ah. Nice. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> Last jump's the hardest. So, yeah, you gotta jump over here. And you gotta oh. aim. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, there's a trick there. <laughs> you gotta squat and, uh, you know, kind of pull to the left after you, you sprint. Okay, so open this up with the key that you grabbed. Read this. Answer. There we go. Okay, no riddle this time, it just gives you the answer. here. Alright, there's four stones. <laughs> there's one over there. It's kind of hidden. A lot of people can't find that one. Yeah, it's just right there. Let's check this again. I forgot what it was. Okay. I can't uh, see which is this. Take all this moss out of the way. Ah, uh, there you go. Snake. Serpent. Serpent, fish. Raven, raven. Okay, now 
that's the code. But you start to pull the chain to open the door. And it's right over here. And uh, right over. Right over there. Alright, right. Yeah. Right. Eh. Another trap. Heads up. Here's the chain. So pull this chain jump. <sighs> right. And here's all the goodies. It's every spell book. Every spell book, every skill book. Uh, I made this mod for me, essentially. You know, at first, was it was for me, and I was tired of having to go all over here to the command console to get all these. So. And once you've started the Thieves Guild quests, you can come get the items. So you might want to wait to. Maybe I've done a Thieves Guild quest, unless you want to jump back up here. <laughs> uh, where'd they go? Oh, nice, where'd they go? Oh. Bust. There it is. And there, there we go. Okay, this is the key for the ore storage in the Mine of Ages, which we haven't gone in yet. There's all the stones of Baron Zaya. Alright, we are done. Alright, so behind here, open this door. door you couldn't get into. The switch room. This way, you know, it's it's easier to get to. <laughs> Kinda. I guess not really, though. Okay, so Mine of Ages. Now you can come in here earlier, as long as you've opened the, the gate from the switch room. Uh, I just waited so I could get the key so I could show everything at once. There's ore all over this place. You really shouldn't have to go anywhere to mine ore, ever. If you need it. But you shouldn't. Because here's a whole bunch. And there's some goodies in here. Total spoilers. Again, that's why it was in the spoiler room. And a lot more ore here. So technically you shouldn't have to mine. It's just for if you want to. Okay. Jump down here. So if you haven't found it yet, uh, under the water, there is a chain. Pull this chain, and it opens that, it's that little blue area up there. It's, uh, it's just a. Uh, there's better ore in it. That's all it is, really. So for some reason, 
I don't know how you would, but if you shut yourself in, there's a chain to get out. All high-end ore, stuff on the ceilings, just for show. Uh, you can't really do anything with it. There is ore on the ceiling, just the blue stuff's just Azura's crystals. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the mine. Alright, so let's uh let's uh let's go check out the Path of Sithis. I think that's the last one. Okay, so run down. Uh, this guy right here. This is the only only literature in here. Uh, read me. Basically, gives the backstory to this this part of the mod and why it's so twisted and contorted. guy. There's lots of unfortunate guys in this room, by the way. Right. So the trick is here, first jump, stay to the left, jump across. Oh, this one, just make sure you're on it completely. Somewhat in the middle, jump across. If you, uh, if you fall, you just have to do it again. Another guy. And there's, uh, what you're after. It's the Sithis's claw. So here's a, read this one. So sister Raven. It's father Serpent. And there's another one right here. Brother Raven. So, jump up on this guy. And should be able to make yeah. There we go. So Raven Serpent Rainbow or <laughs> Serpent the Rainbow. Serpent uh Raven. Barrier still up, so throw the switch here, opens the door. And barrier release. Now, yeah, it's gone. And the little blue barrier mist is gone. Uh, yeah, take that. It's just uh, it's nothing too special. I think I added I added a uh, dismemberment with it. I'm not sure. I haven't tested that the dagger. Okay, so this is the path of Sithis, but there is the sanctuary, the uh, where these guys came from that did all this damage. And find it. Yeah, here it is. So hold your breath. It's a long swim, and there's some slaughter fish on the way down. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. There's a couple of uh, underwater breathing potions in this room. If for some reason you need them. But if you just keep swimming and then head to the surface. There we go. Alright, breath. Oh yeah. Nothing special.
Meh. Okay, hold your breath. And down. So originally this wasn't flooded. It was a big collapse. Again, read the uh, the note the skeleton had if you want to uh, know the story behind this. Alright, so here's the sanctuary. The huge spider. I hate spiders. You don't hate them. But I don't like them around. This guy's gone. So, that's the only foe in here. Okay. The key. Dang it. Okay, so the key falls under the table. Sorry, it happens. It's not intentional. I could say it's intentional and say you need unrelenting force, or what is it? Uh, yeah, there we go. Un no. Where'd it go? Right there, okay. So if it falls, shout it out. So this is the key for the portals, which is behind me to my right. And if you check this dresser, there's your unchanted shrouded armor. Alright. Ah, oh, okay, so everybody remembers Armand from Oblivion. I had him hanging here, at least a skeleton hanging here. Seems to have fallen. I think I must have used TCL command, and it might have knocked him off. Alright, so go down here. Here's a portal here. And if you turn around... The Dawnstar portal is through here. Now these are one way. Like I said, if you go through them without cheating, you can't get back. And there's the sanctuary, and way up on a pedestal. You can get down without jumping. Where is it? There it is. Just to show you, you can. I had a couple people complaining, saying they were dying, jumping off. Okay, so... Yep. Shouldn't be able to get back up. And there's the, uh... Dawnstar. Sanctuary, right there. Okay, I'm just gonna jump through all the, what the all these portals, where they are, and all that. So this is the one that was right next to it. This one goes to Falkreath. Way up in the air, not actually this one's not too bad. But I uh and there we go. Yeah. There's the other sanctuary. So these don't take you into them, it just takes you, you know, close to them. Okay, this is um in the cellar. This is gonna be the portal that takes you to Nightingale Hall. And yep, so you can jump down right there. And you are right outside Nightingale Hall. Okay, this is the Thieves Guild, it's also in the cellar. You can jump down there. And lastly, um, you have the portal that's on the roof. This one takes you to Winterhold. 
and this is going to be the end of, uh, of the walkthrough. Hopefully I didn't waste a half hour of your time or more uh, with any mistakes on my mod, and uh, yeah, I hope this answers a lot of questions.